being the record holder for the most digs at Idaho, um, the, really the biggest feeling that I get from that is just like a thankful feeling because I'm really fortunate to have been, I've been put on the court um, over the past few years and so um, you, you have to have that like, you know, it started with, okay, my passion to want to play and then my coaches believing in me. So that was a really big part of it was saying, hey, yeah, we want you out there. My name is Jenna Ellis and I'm on the University of Idaho volleyball team. My major is nutrition and dietetics. I grew up in Pocatello, Idaho and um, I started volleyball from a really young age. As the years went by, I really fell in love with the sport. Um, it's a sport that my mom and sister and I, like we really bonded in. Um, my sister always played up on my teams and throughout pretty much my whole volleyball experience before college, my mom was my coach and so um, I have a lot of great traveling memories with my family and the sport was like more than a sport to us. It's taught me a lot of life lessons. When I was playing it, my mom kind of developed her own club so that we could afford to play and so that um, we were involved in activities. And um, it was definitely a, like a strong way that I made friends. Um, I learned how to be a team player. Like it pretty much was like a way to become a strong woman. And that's what my mom always said to us. She's like, this like, is gonna make you a strong woman. Like you're gonna be faced with adversity. Um, you're gonna, you know, learn how to work with others. Being a senior, it means leadership to me. Um, it's definitely been a growing experience my four years at Idaho, and over the past years, I've just I've learned a lot um, about what it means to be a leader. And you kind of you come in as a freshman and a little bit more timid. I mean, not all freshmen, but I know that I came in a little bit more timid and. If you're trying to find your place on the court, there's all the outside of volleyball factors, the transition to college, and um, yeah, being a senior, there's like a level of maturity because you have that experience, and um, I would say that's one of the biggest things is it's awesome because it comes with a lot of leadership. I started the Family Consumer Graduate Program this summer. I'm really interested in sports nutrition and athletes and um, how food affects performance and um, what athletes actually know about this. I started with just talking to my professor, um, saying, hey, like, I want to work with athletes in some way. I want to do some kind of research study um, that's looking at our Idaho athletes. She is like, okay, I've talked to Rob Spear, and we have this project for you. Um, we want to kind of introduce into the life skills class, a cooking intervention for athletes. We just really want to teach them some basic skills. I was able to measure how confident they were um, in the kitchen, and that kind of is a preceptor to what skills people actually have based on their confidence levels. It was my first time ever getting to teach a class, um, teach a class and let alone a cooking class. So it was a huge learning curve for me, I think um, maybe even more than, it was more of a learning curve for me than for the students because everything I taught them was very basic. Overall, it was an awesome experience and I'm super grateful I had that um, group of athletes and that they were all willing to participate the last four years, none of it would have been possible um, without God. Like that was one of the biggest things for me coming to U of I. My Christianity and stuff was really formed at U of I, and all the things I did um, were a stem from that. My next career step, I'm not exactly sure, um, but I'm going to, um, you know, try to use best the resources that I gained while I was at Idaho by using the skills I learned and, you know, going out into the workforce. Like, see, okay, how can I be used? Like. How can, I, how can I help people be healthier, whether that's student athletes or families. Really just, um, I need to find kind of where my niche is and where I can be used the best to glorify God.